two Wake County schools shut down today because of high temperatures and issues with air conditioning. This happened at Sanderson High School and Wakefield Middle School. This week, the school board discussed the ongoing issues throughout the district. That's right. So what is the solution? CBS 17's Maggie Newland is live in Raleigh, digging deeper into the policy surrounding schools and heat. And Maggie, this is serious stuff. It is, and it is very hot today. Kids told us it was very hot in school as well. Here at Sanderson, they were dismissed nearly three hours early, and it's not the only school dealing with air conditioning problems. Halfway through the second day of the school year, cars and buses left Sanderson High School full of students heading home for the day due to problems with the school's air conditioning system. I'm just happy to get out early. It's very hot. The problem didn't affect every classroom. But with temperatures predicted to reach well into the 90s, school and district leaders made the decision to close early. Luckily, my, uh, my classroom had AC, but we, uh, my teacher got an email saying that there was no AC in, the school, uh, in some parts of the school building. So she said that we had to leave early. Wakefield Middle School also sent students home early due to issues with the air conditioner. These closures come just one day after school board members discussed air conditioning problems in a number of schools across the district. While some schools are getting units replaced or upgraded, maintenance staff says the school district has about $140 million worth of HVAC needs and spends about $22 million a year on the systems. At this rate, staff says it will take 14 years to take care of all those needs. At Sanderson and Wakefield, most students don't mind the extra time off. Every child, you know, is like, no school, we got to leave early. And, you know... Yeah, we just left home and it was a good day. But some parents say rushing away from work to pick up their children in the middle of the day is not the way they hope to start the school year. And even in schools where the air conditioning is working, everyone is dealing with extreme heat and we'll see more of it tomorrow. We're told that when students are outside for recess or PE, they are monitored for any signs of heat related illness and they are given frequent water breaks. The same with staff. If the temperature is determined to be too hot, they will move those outdoor activities inside. They also have specific guidelines they follow for any sports practices. We have a link to those on our website, CBS17.com. Live in Raleigh, Maggie Newland, CBS17 News. All right, Maggie, thanks so much.